In 2005, the country carried out a referendum that lifted a 19-year-old ban on a political party activity ushering the country into the multi-party system of government. But seven years down the road, some people allegedly went out. While appearing before the Parliamentary and Legal Affairs Committee, the Electoral Commission Chairperson Badri Chigundu told lawmakers that the commission has received a petition from the public calling for a referendum for the restoration of the movement system. These are Ugandans. I don't have the names of, of the people who have done it, but these are Ugandans who have actually signed the petition. I have, a, I have the petition. All they are calling for is they want to return to the movement political system. Two other petitions also being considered by Electoral Commission include the federal and the restoration of presidential term limits. They just want the whole uh, government system uh, in this country to be on a federal basis. Meanwhile, the creation of the 25 new districts creates additional challenges for the authority that is already cash-strapped. I need resources to make sure I can man that district. It will cost about over 600 million shillings per district. 671 million. Over 15 million people are expected to vote in the general elections of 2016. Maurice Ochoa, NTV Parliament.